Hello everybody, I'm Tom and you are watching play The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So I was running around trying to sell things and I saw this merchant on the map, but this is a quest, so we have to do the quest first. Alright, what have you got there? Magic accessories, alchemy ingredients, potions and much more. Interesting, don't look a bit like a mage. True, perhaps because I'm not a mage, I just take care of the sundries the poor folk who burn at the stake leave behind. Ensure they end up in the right hands. Hmm. Fine, what do you have? Naught but rarities at unbeatable pra- Oh shit, you didn't see me here. The halfling, what did he want? And why did he bolt when he saw us coming? Left his soup on the burner. I've half a mind to put you on the burner, wise ass. Got my eye on you. Let's go! There is some kind of... I don't know how you'd put it. Skeeviness to selling the goods of stole of burned victims, but... You know. And you're a fine fella for Someone's not gonna use it. me out. Prepared to give you a discount for that, mate. So, shall we trade? Let's do it. Yeah, let's. Hopefully no interruptions this time. Alright, I'm gonna cut again. Well, I guess cut for the first time. Um, just because... You don't need to see me selling and I'm gonna have to go to a bunch of other sellers as well. Alright. See you guys. Oh, we're back again. Another quest. Hello, bandit. What is it? We're a problem, Master Witcher. Mate of ours got injured, and we can't seem to find him. Poor lad could bleed to death. You track many a monster. Would you sniff our friend out as well? We're willing to pay. Why not? Short delay won't hurt. Lead the way, Master Witcher. Quick as you can, though. Poor lad needs help. Needs some kind of lead first. Any clues? Uh, yeah, yeah, he ran. Toward the port. Came out of the sewers. Sewers. Should be an easy scent to follow. Novograd is a state of mind. Ooh. Understand? Blueprints. <laughs> Traces of sewer slime. Won't be easy to find mages in this mob. Easier than you think. You just need to set the proper bait. Meaning? Start a rumor that your father's ill, and only a potion will save him. Yeah, it'll take some coin to spread that round. Don't worry about that. His Royal Majesty's been right generous with funds. Blood. Cleansing. Fresh. Uh, by the way, Things are generally tidier. if this seems see. a bit skeevy to you, that's because it's incredibly skeevy. Hey, hey, I'm pretty I'm sure these guys child. are gonna- this is a guy that will try to kill. Um, which way do you go? Up. Oh, a witch hunter. Interesting. Gotcha, Holson. That was Farmstein with the purest fist tech you put to the torch. Do you know what it was worth? Boy, right, witchman, take your coin, bugger off. Leave him alone. Wonder of wonders. A witcher defending a mage hunter. Next we'll have my sticking up for cats. I'm not joking. Ain't ya? Fine, we'll talk serious then. Die, fool! I didn't expect help from the likes of you. Shouldn't be so quick to judge, maybe. A lesson your colleagues could use, too. Listen, I've lost much blood. I need a medic to patch me up. Quickly. W will you help? No. Gonna let you die the death of a martyr in the struggle for a better tomorrow. Glory be to the fire. Yada, yada, yada.
Works for me. All right. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go back and try and sell my stuff again. Again, we'll cut. Alright everyone, so we're back. I just had a lot of trouble trying to sell stuff. Um, people just don't have enough money to buy the amount of crap that I accumulate. So, I've decided I'm gonna do the Sword of Dumplings quest, which will actually unlock us a merchant. A very, very good merchant. Named Tatori. What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? Are you joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long. An elven sword expert. You must be Ibir Hattori. Ah, indeed. I am. Geralt of Rivia. Heard a lot of good things about you. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Sure, I'll try a dumpling. Mmm. <laughs> Tasty. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Anything else I can do for you? Looking for a good swordsmith. No one. <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Mm, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. I like that beer. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad's smithing market? Not officially, though... All supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver. Frequently. Hmm. Ernst Van Horn. Who's that? Modest beginnings. A small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, He'd accuse them of being Havocars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. I'll get in Cleaver's way. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... well... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Sure. I'm like pseudo friends with all of them. Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggar's men. Right. King wouldn't worry about an embargo Cleaver imposed. Mm. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. 
I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. Garrett, you meddle with them all the time. Your help. Van Horn <laughs> is a Van Horsen. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. <laughs> Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark. Near the crane at the docks. Alright. So we're doing some underworld dealings here. Which is interesting because... True, the King of Beggars probably wouldn't care about undercutting Cleaver's business that much. But they are in contact, you would think... That would kind of annoy him somewhat. And annoying Cleaver never seems to be a good idea. Uh, what's the time? It's 10 a.m., what the hell? I'm just gonna wait till my time. 8 p.m. should do it? Maybe? Still light out. Oh, he's here. Hey, Hattori. This the place. Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? Yeah, let's go. Lead the way. Splendid. Come. Let me do the negotiating. Because I'm better at it than you. Ah! The King of Beggars, man. His name is Tin Boy. What do you know about him? Not much. He's easy to eye, so tread carefully. We need him far more than he needs us. Maybe, but he was willing to do the meeting in the first place, which would imply maybe not. You were to come alone, elf. Who's this? A concerned friend. Uh, fine. Here's how we see things. The boss at Loggerheads with Cleaver, there's got to be a payoff. We've got an offer, and it's non-negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron in exchange for 50% of your 50. profits. 50? Fuck off. You're kidding, right? We'll give you 10. Geralt, what are you... Be quiet. You're fucking with fire, git. I don't have to haggle with you. Final offer, faulty. And then he does haggle. Give you 25. Who are you to dictate anything to the king of beggars? <laughs> uh, 35's as low as we'll go. Uh. 25's our limit. We'll throw in a discount at the shop. <laughs> You're clearly daft, Trent. No deal. Come on, boys. Fine. No deal. Geralt, what are you... Wait. All right. Certainly know how to negotiate, concerned friend. Oh, 25 it is, and the discount. <laughs> Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. Well, it's a shame. Oh, boy. Too much to drink. It softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick whittler. Damn it. Who's this time. now? Cleaver's boys! Who's travels <laughs> You do nothing, Hattori. I killed Cleaver's men. Geralt, quickly! Hurry up! I do, Jesus. Careful! There could be more! Follow me.
Right. Sure hope there's a payoff at the end of this. So, supplies. That's something we can count on? Who'd you take me for? Gave you me word, didn't I? But I'd hire guards if I was you. You never know with Cleaver. It's very true. Can you provide protection? A few of Cleaver's little shits escaped. Bugger probably already knows everything. I've no men to spare, can't guarantee your safety. If I was you, I'd lay low for a time. Thanks, Tin Boy. Down the line, the bosses will make a deal. You'll be left alone. All you gotta do is stay alive till then. <laughs> Pretty what much. Now? Here we chat, while your partner's just flown the coop. Damn it. Hey, wait. <laughs> Good luck. I like Tin Boy. He's like a very stereotypical Atori. gangster. Wait. Alright everybody, um, this is just a little post-commentary thing as an outro. So, uh, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Um, I'm actually going to split this up into two parts, which is why I've got this here. So this is the end of part one, and the start of part two will be going up next week. Anyway, thanks guys.